DraftKings shares jumped on Friday in response to an announced large agreement with ESPN. That could be a big deal for DraftKings, which offers mobile sports betting, iGaming, and daily fantasy sports across the U.S. and in Canada. If we look here, why it's such a big deal for DraftKings, they had 1.5 million monthly unique players as of its latest report. But if we look at the scale of ESPN, let's just look at a few ESPN statistics here. ESPN has 39 million monthly listeners on its podcast, 118.6 million unique users on ESPN's app and website. And this was way back in 2017, so these figures are, are, are much higher nowadays. And the percentage of digital users that access via mobile devices, 70%. That's important because DraftKings, most of the action that betting and, and gaming that happens, happens on an, on the mobile app in DraftKings. And uh, as, as, as late as 2017, ESPN reached 208 million people in the U.S. 208 million. Compared that to... You know, DraftKings had only 1.5 million monthly unique players. Now, that was a, a solid increase of 30% from the previous year, but still 1.5 million compared to all of 200 million that ESPN reaches. And so if they're able to get into this, get this agreement locked in, that could be a massive customer base for DraftKings to tap into, massive growth. If, um, if we look here at DraftKings, this is their... Uh, revenue statement, their cost of revenue for the three months ended ju June 30th. And their two most uh, prevalent costs are cost of revenue and sales and marketing. We see here in the most recent quarter, revenue 466 million, 312 million was cost of revenue, and 197 million was sales and marketing. This is a combination of, fa of things that, you know, DraftKings offers customers a deposit bonus or other promotions in order to get them to sign up and it, it needs every time it gains access to a new market it blitzes the market with advertising in order to attract customers if it was to enter into an agreement with ESPN it, it, it wouldn't need to spend as much money on advertising right if ESPN agrees to show one of the DraftKings ads during a game when, let's say, LeBron James is shooting a free throw, that can attract a considerable amount of customer signups just in that moment. That's valuable advertising space that they would they would uh, benefit from. Now, you might say, why would ESPN give DraftKings this kind of you know favorable treatment? Why is it going with DraftKings and not another company? And here's a, an important factor to think about. Remember, ESPN is owned by the Walt Disney Company, right? And looky here, the Walt Disney Company, this is the Walt Disney Company's most recent quarterly statement. We see here that the Walt Disney Company owns a stake in DraftKings. They own a percentage of DraftKings. So it's in Walt Disney's interest to promote DraftKings, to help DraftKings out, because if DraftKings valuation increases, it will help the Walt Disney Company because they own a considerable stake in DraftKings. See, in the current quarter, they recorded a $136 million loss uh, as an adjustment to their investment in DraftKings because the stock price of DraftKings has been falling so far in 2022. So Disney has taken a loss because of that. But if they, after they inked this deal, DraftKings stock was up uh, as of today, Friday, Friday afternoon. The stock was up after the announcement. And once the details come out, the, all of the details haven't came out yet. Once the details come out, DraftKings could get another boost in its share price. So excellent, excellent news if you're a DraftKings investor. Of course, uh, let's wait to see the details come out. But this is great news so far, and stay tuned. I'll have a video update if there's a major announcement that follows up with this one, and I'll follow through and see what the prospects are for this deal. So thank you for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular 
product stock advisor stock advisor has beaten the market by more than three times go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now